Okay, so why does the government care about the ghost again? <laughs> hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Will and welcome back to another quick review here on the channel. We are still in the month of October, so I am looking at more supernatural type movies and this one came out earlier this year. I am taking a look at We Have a Ghost. This was a Netflix original movie that I think was meant to come out earlier than 2023, but it came out in 2023 earlier this year. The star of Anthony Mackie, uh, Jai Winston, and David Harbour of Stranger Things fame. Family who move into a house that's haunted by a ghost. There you go. That's the premise of the movie. See ya. Hey, thanks for watching this video. This premiered on Netflix earlier this year, and I finally checked it out as something to check out for the month of October, just because it was a ghost. They're not all, they're, not all the movies are going to be scary and make me want to wet my pants. Some of them are just going to be cute little comedies involving a family's antics around a middle-aged white guy who, whose spirit is trapped into a house for unknown reasons and at the same time trying to repair a broken family. If, you're hap if you happen to be new here to the channel, my name is Will and I do geeky stuff on the internet. I do reviews and reactions, discussions, some gaming, some drinking. I just like to have fun and I hope you do as well. And if this happens to be your bag and you're interested in hearing what my opinion as a geeky bear on this fast, fast internet, please subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. So let's take a look at this cute little family. I guess it's a family film for the most part, kind of, sort of. But let's talk about We Have a Ghost. So We Have a Ghost reminded me a lot of like Casper the friendly ghost because basically it's not like it's not like a oh it's not a scary movie it's really not it's a, about a ghost who is trapped in or assumed to be trapped in a house that has recently seen the arrivals of Anthony Mackey and his family the son played by Jai Winston his name is Kevin actually befriends the ghost who is played by David Harbour and attempts to try to help the ghost reconcile whatever is keeping him on this plane of existence while his father played by Anthony Mackie is a little bit more obsessed with trying to make a quick buck and this thing goes really viral and draws the ire of other people to this house as well as the US government for some reason. It's, it's cute in certain spots I will admit it has a slow start for me personally towards like the latter half of the movie I really got into it and got invested and it kind of got me a little bit emotionally at the end of the movie. This has a really good cast. I think David Harbour's portrayal of Ernest, that's the name of the ghost, he doesn't speak in the movie and so a lot of his performance has to be muted, a lot of facial expressions, a lot of emotion that he has to emote without having to say a word. I really enjoyed that aspect of the movie as well as his friendship with Jai Winston's character of Kevin. Kevin is the youngest of two sons, Anthony Mackie's character. He is not necessarily a good dad. He is someone who has tried multiple different schemes and ideas and try to get rich and of course once a ghost that they catch on camera actually appears in his lap. He runs with it and causes a lot of undue conflict not only with the well-being of Ernest the ghost, but also with his son, Kevin, who he has a very strained relationship with due to some of his past misfortunes and things like that. I didn't understand at the beginning of the movie like what was really kind of the issue between, between father and son. Their relationship was very strained, and the movie doesn't necessarily give you a lot of context or backstory until much later in the movie so if you're watching the movie at the beginning you just see a father being a total dick to his youngest son for no reason i actually thought at first like if kevin was queer and this was like a response to him being queer or something like that but it turned out it was basically for a lot of let go promises and things like that but i did really enjoy the friendship between kevin and ernest and also the inclusion of, I think Yukio is the neighbor's name. It's a, it's a friend that he meets in school once they move in there. And she becomes a pivotal part in their journey as well. I really like their dynamic in the movie. Their dynamic was really what kind of kept me in the movie. Everything else around it, albeit some things were funny, some things also felt a little 
little dated joke wise like i wasn't chuckling as much as i thought i would be i i heard it was actually meant to be a, a really funny movie and i enjoyed certain things and certain little beats here and there especially with ernest's uh, ghost character getting into shenanigans and things like that as they try to help him throughout the movie. There is the antagonist of the U.S. government in this as well once the whole thing with Ernest and his reveal goes completely viral thanks to the father. It becomes kind of like a shit show for the family and everything like that and of course Kevin's just main goal is to try to help Ernest to move on and it just it, it causes a lot of multiple different conflicts from multiple different sources throughout the movie at some point it gets a little overwhelming when it comes to like trying to keep the story like really more focused on what I thought this, the movie was really focused on is that this this friendship between a troubled youth troubled as in his family is kind of garbage and a ghost who has a story that needs to be un unfolded and it's really about these two characters sort of working together just to try to help each other because Kevin's trying to reconcile with his family, most notably his father, but also wants to help his new friend. Also break out of his own sort of shell and really kind of discover who he is because he's in high school. He's a young kid. He's like 16, I believe. But the movie was cute. Like I said, it reminded me a lot of like Casper the Friendly Ghosts. It's not really just like a little animated ghost. He's just like a middle-aged white guy who befriended a black kid. <laughs> kind of a weird combination, but it works. I like like all when the movie focused on those characters, I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty solid. It was entertaining, and it, it had a heartwarming story, especially as you as things evolve towards you get to the climax of the movie. It was really good. When it got jumbled with the with the plot line with the U.S. government or Anthony Mackie kind of being over the top in the first like half an hour of the movie, it kind of lost me a little bit here and there. But by the end of it it all worked well enough to emote some genuine emotions for myself. It was able to make me a little misty eyed, so I thought it was cute. It's actually a really good performance from David Harbour, especially when he can't speak and he has to just emote through just general miming and emoting with, you know, with his face, pretty much. You know, how, how you can deliver an emotional performance without having to say a word is actually pretty impressive. So I enjoyed that. I would say check it out. It's still on Netflix. But yeah, it's not really like a horror movie. And yes, I try to look at a lot of different types of supernatural horror-based movies around this time of year. So We Have a Ghost kind of fell into that category. And it was something quick to watch. But I thought this was cute enough to at least get my thoughts on it. So it's actually a decent story, albeit a little jumbled in certain parts. And for me, it's a little slow at the beginning, but, but by the end, I enjoyed it. That's going to be my quick review of We Have a Ghost. It is on Netflix right now. So check it out if you get a chance to, and let me know any thoughts that you have on the movie in the comments down below. Thank you so much for checking out this and all my videos. I really do appreciate it. It does mean a lot to me when you guys check out these videos. Please be kind in the comments, especially if you disagree with any of my thoughts on any video that I have. I'm just a geek that likes to talk about stuff, and we can disagree. Just be nice about it. <laughs> if you're not, I'll delete your comment. Sorry my channel. I do what I want. <laughs> I appreciate you checking it out nonetheless. Uh, if you were new here and you happen to enjoy this review, please subscribe if you would be so kind and check out some of the other videos I have on the channel right now. I have a bunch of them and I've got a bunch that I'm trying to work on. So please check those out. You can follow me on a lot of different social media platforms listed at the end of this video. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And as always, until next time, I will catch you later. <laughs> Why am I trying to make that a thing? It's not gonna work. Or if it does, let me know. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you did like this video, why not give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends? You can subscribe to the channel by clicking on my gorgeous little face right over there. You can follow me on all the various social media platforms right below. And last but certainly not least, if you've got a few extra minutes, why not check out one of the lovely videos floating right over here. Later.